Alright, I'm back from a short break. Uh, had to grind up materials. Made that little mob platform over there. <laughs> Just look at them all. Um, added on to this quite a bit. Uh, this is going to be... not quite sure how I'm going to do it. Probably going to add in a sort of panoramic view area. Oh god, I just looked at them. They're probably going to try and teleport to me soon. It'd be fine if he, uh... Yeah, okay, he fell off. Whew. Problem solved. over there just because they'll start shooting at me. Okay. <clears throat> so, I think it would be best to continue on like this. It's hard to say whether or not that's Always a good thing. Yeah. Perfect. Unfortunately, I was um, scrounging around in the nether for quartz for diorite and uh, lost a lot of my armor. I've already uh, done the lava cast. Completely cleared it out, too. That was where it was. Um, and why there are so many nasties on that area over there. Skeletons. Uh, I have no idea why my bees are hanging out down here. I'm not entirely convinced that it's the uh, they're pathing their AI or whatever. Maybe there's a way to get them. I think you can leash them, I think. So, uh, I'm gonna have to try that. Get them out of there. I'm not, I'm not too happy with them hanging out and not producing honey. I've gotta also find a way to encase this water so that it's not flowing everywhere. I really want to use torches everywhere. Might want to might want to stick to um, might want to stick to uh, using glowstone and uh, such things. Oh crap! Yeah, just like that.
not entirely certain what I should make this bottom level first. Uh, I guess I'll be hurting for a storage room. Yeah, storage room is probably the best. Oh, I gotta go back up and get more here. Sure. I didn't bring any more smooth stuff with me. Oh yeah, that's right. A um, a parakeet, parrot, or whatever they are, I spawned over here, so I managed to get one. Cute little fella. It seems to do is just whistle. That's about it. the um, block, no, what the hell is it called? Block cutter. Stone cutter, that's it. Had to move that down here so that I'd have easier access to uh, you know, stuff that I need. Depth Strider so much. Okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Got our nice little alter, you know, altering colors here and there, alternating. Uh, it's time to actually start. Yeah. I guess a storage room wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I probably won't go too crazy with, like, redstone and stuff. So as a result, I won't need too much extra space. Probably gonna need about this much space. And then each wing will probably be a different a uh, different type of material. Like one wing will be mob drops, uh, the next will be like farmed plant material, um, maybe building materials and I don't know, other miscellaneous items that just happen to come along. Now, 
Now the question becomes, how do I arrange the chests? A lot of the, <clears throat> a lot of the, uh, the chests are, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Mostly, I just, um, once I have my palette, I just kind of do whatever comes off the top of my head. I'm not, um, I'm trying to sort of adhere to a style, but I'm not trying to, like, overthink that style. I'm just doing whatever I feel comes natural most of the time. I've made some pretty crazy stuff, so... There's some merit to just feeling your way through it and not worrying too much about the rest. And then I had better light this up because I've learned my lesson. I guess this first wing is just kind of like a, um, a test of sorts. Thinking too hard about what I want, what to be where. Oh, crap. I knew that would happen. Hey, okay. not too bad. And then I'll have chests lining up, probably starting just go. Should be a decent amount of storage for mob drops. Turn my back and there's a bajillion of them. Don't see any zombie villagers. It's unfortunate. Of course, even if I did, they'd probably just push themselves off. I need to make that. Also, I decided to make it down low on the uh, lower area here because it would be way to see if the chunk that uh, I'm in, F3G, yeah, uh, that straddles two separate chunks. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that neither this chunk nor this chunk are slime chunks, because of course, you know, slime is extremely useful. So unfortunately, ooh, a witch, I hope she sticks around. I need the, uh, Redstone she can potentially drop. Let's go ahead and sleep. Hopefully this isn't too high up to uh, despawn them all. I'd like to keep some of them around. I, I see you. I see you. He drifted up from up there. I'm gonna light up under there again. Hopefully, Goljon is still sleeping. Holy crap, did you hear that? This little bastard hissed just like a creeper. I forgot they do that. 
These torches must have gotten knocked off now that I think about it. I bet that's how he got up here. Mr. Mr. Parrot, you very nearly invalidated your existence. I, I, I was this close to evicting you. Holy crap. Still so many of them. But they do seem to despawn. Well, I definitely need to make that platform larger. Where you go? Okay, every chance I can, I need to try to kill an enemy. Just because, you know, it's your value. Blah! naked doesn't help. Okay. It's about me again. I love the middle click feature. It's one of the best things Mojang added in years. I mean, it's not new, but try living without it for a while and see how easy it is to build anything. Three and then two on the back end. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to wait until uh, daytime to expand out these two wings. <laughs> That'll just be a little too dangerous for my liking. Hmm. You know, actually, a thought occurs. I could make it asymmetrical. At least, symmetrical only on two sides. I don't know, that would probably bother some people if I did that. Because, uh... Good asymmetrical builds have to be completely asymmetrical from every point of view so that it doesn't really trigger that, uh, that dependency on it. Because like when you start making something symmetrical, then your, your brain expects you to continue making it symmetrical. And that will, of course, that builds up an expectation and then when people they will get that uh, internal expectation and then you've suddenly bucked that trend without properly informing them. They kind of get angry about you at it. Or about it at you. Yeah, I think this place is looking amazing so far. This uh, salt and pepper style here isn't something I would uh, expect to be able to pull off in Minecraft. I especially love Diorite's grittiness to it. It's just, it was so sad that when they added it, it didn't have enough... Uh, like I said, I, I love stair and slab variants. So without that, it was really kind of just disappointing. Because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't use it except as like a, a small accentuator type block. So I was never able to really put it to use the way I wanted to. Same thing for Prismarine. And, uh, they seem to have pretty well solved that. Now if only we could get slab and stair variants for every block in the game. And I know they've probably said before they wouldn't do that, but, like, I don't know, to a degree, 
I feel like Mojang has to be dragged, kicking and screaming, to an idea. Uh, some ideas they'll readily accept, and others they're just, like, form about for years and years and years, and then suddenly they'll adopt it. So, I don't know. Mojang is weird. Although, I will admit, le recently I've seen that uh, some of the devs actually stream playing this game. And if you told me that they'd actually play their own game, I don't know that I'd believe you. Mojang is notorious for making additions and things of that nature that they just don't fully test. So deathly afraid of them. One of those skeletons trying to take aim at me. I suppose I could just go up and despawn. Oh. That sucks. set spawn command on you, on your island, you have to either not make a bed or Bastion, okay. Yeah, um, you have to, to either stay at the island and never make a bed, or if you sleep at that bed, you have to stay there. If you break your bed, you better move it somewhere and then re-sleep in it. Actually, it, will, it will fuck you. down here go fast wait for all these monsters to despawn yeah I'll go fix school John in a second and uh, yeah I think that's probably where I'm just gonna call it an episode for today I'll um, continue that out Man, I tell you. <gasps> hell yes, we know where there's a slime chunk. Oh hell, there's a slime chunk. <laughs> there are gonna be slimes spawning in my fucking storage room. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm too tall for you. Well, I'll um I'll correct the, those problems here in a sec. I'll finish these guys. Slimes hit hard, by the way. They, they actually... They are no joke. Large ones, especially. I think there's like an extra large slime that doesn't spawn. You can only spawn it in through commands. But that one will one-shot you if you're naked. It must have been either this chunk or this chunk. It has to be this one, because this was not here until I went up there. All right, well, I will go do some things, and uh, hopefully... By the time I come back and show you all, I'll have a full-blown storage room here. Well, eh, maybe not. I'll have to uh, transfer all the garbage down here first. 
it's going to be fun, I guess. Or not. Alright. Thanks for watching.